Francesca. I am an Italian PhD researcher here in Ireland um, at Technological University Dublin. Um, my field is biophysics and I am currently studying stem cells, different kind of stem cells, and analyzing them with a big instrument that works with um, scattering-like technology called Raman spectroscopy. <music> I have always had a very inquisitive personality uh, since I was very little and um, you know I was never happy with the answers that were given by my parents about what was happening around me and uh, you know I was very curious um, and then um, I you know I went to school and I've always enjoyed science um, you know I just loved it and I pursued it since since primary school uh, and then I went to university and I graduated and here we are. Well, I grew up with a lot of support around me um, my family and my friends, they always, always supported me, they always encouraged me to pursue my passions, uh, but there was certainly someone that uh, inspired me. She was an amazing woman. Um, she's not with us anymore, my grandmother. Um, she works in the hospital um, as a doctor and a researcher. Her field was um, childhood cancers and leukemia and she worked really hard uh, for her life um, in order to find new therapies uh, that uh, could be used to save more lives. <music> You know, at the moment I am uh, actually at home <laughs> in quarantine. Uh, so it's mainly um, my daily work is mainly data analyzing and writing. But um, what I'm working at the moment in this month was uh, uh, I'm studying the chondrocytes. Chondrocytes are the cells uh, that make our cartilage in our body. Um, I am trying to understand what, what is happening, which are the markers involved, which means what are the sig which are the signals that we can see and identify that make the stem cells become cartilage. Well, I think research is so much fun. Uh, literally, uh, the experiments, they never go as you plan them, never. <laughs> Uh, which is also bad, right? <laughs> but uh, this is the most exciting part. You can never predict what's gonna happen. Um, and then, you know, you fail uh, and you try again, but then you find something. And it's so exciting because it's, you, you, it's, like it's your discovery. It's unique and totally original. And it's really, really worth it. All the studies that I am doing now uh, with stem cells, they aim to um, make to bring some progresses in the uh, regenerative medicine field and tissue engineering. So I really hope that the, the protocols that I am um, studying now, that I am optimizing now, they can be used in the hospital and, and in the medical institutions in order to uh, accelerate the, pro the processes. <music> I really hope um, I see myself in 10 years uh, involved in a lot of cool projects, I, uh, especially clinically oriented, this is what I would like and um, I really hope that I will be able to work with all the skills I will have achieved uh, alongside the hospitals. Yeah, this is kind of my dream. I want to help people. I want to be able to help patients uh, with my work. Um, yeah, so finger crossed. Well, bringing women in STEM is not only about uh, gender equality. Um, it is essential to bring more women in order to, work, to build a diverse, um, a more diverse workspace to have innovative ideas, uh, different perspectives. Uh, it is essential to have more um, female voices in STEM positions, from academia to uh, a tech company. 
and yeah unfortunately there is still a gender gap well i remember myself younger being constantly worried about my future about um what am i gonna do i, I remember being uh, having these feelings of inadequacy constantly saying like why when i was applying for things like why would they pick me why not other people that are more intelligent than me uh what if i fail um and like if i could if i could go back and meet the younger version of me i would go i would go and say like stop worrying just apply you are the right person for the job for the position don't be scared they will pick you because you are you ha you have skills you are trained enough and if you fail, you can try again, you know? For all the girls, you will be told at some point that um, science is not a good career for a woman, that you should instead um, pursue a more feminine career. Uh, but it's like, what does that even mean, you know? If you feel insecure and you're not sure about what to do, Try to not forget um, about what other women before you, before me, um, have done and the, how they changed the world with their discoveries. You know, that's amazing. The world needs women. Um, never stop. So never stop being curious. Never stop following your dreams and, and never let someone else telling you what you can or you cannot achieve.